Okay, everyone. I just wanted to show this quick video on kinetic energy to help you understand it a bit better. So here we have a pendulum, or it's a ball on a string and it swings back and forth. As you can see, it's gonna go back and forth. So we're gonna start at A. So when I grab the ball and get ready to swing it, that's where I'm gonna have my maximum potential energy. That's where I bring the ball up to point A and I'm just holding it there. I haven't let it go. Once I let it go, it's gonna start building kinetic energy. As it swings down, gravity is gonna pull on it. Interesting enough, there's a decrease in the gravitational pull when I let go of the ball because now it's moving with the gravity. Gravity is no longer pulling on it. I'm moving with the gravity. So once I let go and it swings down here, it's building its kinetic energy until it gets to point C. And at point C is when it reaches its maximum potential energy. Okay, or not maximum potential, but it's maximum kinetic energy. When it reaches here, it's got its maximum kinetic energy. That's where the most amount of energy is. Shortly after that point though, as I start coming back up in this direction, um, it decreased, there's a decrease in kinetic energy because now I'm swinging up and now there's an increase on the gravitational pull. So I'm swinging up, I'm swinging up, but gravity is pulling on me. So I'm not gonna get all the way to the same um, level as A. It won't be as equal as A, okay? Gravitational pull is pulling me, it's decreasing that kinetic energy. But once I get to point E over here, okay, I'm gonna be back to my, um, back to my maximum potential energy. I'm at that point where it, for a brief, brief, brief millisecond, it's no longer in motion, but it has the maximum potential energy because I'm getting ready to go in the opposite direction. And I go through the same process all over again. So maximum potential energy here at A, as I swing down, I'm building kinetic energy. There's a decrease, decrease in the gravitational pull. I reach my maximum kinetic energy. As I start swinging back up, there's an increase in the gravitational pull. And I'm starting to run out of that kinetic energy until I reach a point where gravity won't let me go anymore. And now I've reached my maximum potential energy and I go back in the other direction where I build my kinetic energy. I reach my maximum, gravity pulls on me. And then I get to my other point where maybe right about here, I'm at my maximum potential energy, getting ready to swing the opposite direction. And that's what's happening in this pendulum. We have a transfer of energy where we have a maximum potential energy, we have our max of kinetic energy, and then we reach another point where we swing back the other way. So there you go.